Hey everybody, this is Jason, the Life Science Educator and Science Outreach Manager at the Children's Museum Houston. Today I am inside the Eco Station and we are going to talk about archaeology. And this is actually going to be a series of archaeology um, activities I'm going to show you about because I love archaeology. It's so much fun and I've actually been on a few archaeological uh, dig sites myself, digging up artifacts, which is what archaeologists study. Anthropologists are what, who are the people who study the, the customs of people. Archaeologists really just study the artifacts. And what an artifact is, is anything human beings have made. But they tend to be things that human beings made a long time ago. Now, for me to show you how to do an archaeological dig site, which is what I'm going to show you first, and then we're going to do some other things down the road, I'm going to show you stuff that would be artifacts a couple hundred years from now. So stuff that we use today. What's really interesting about archaeological dig sites and the artifacts they find is a lot of times what we find are what's called middens. And middens are usually just big trash piles. Now, we know that there are huge trash piles all around Houston, all around the United States, all around the world. And someday, people in the future, 200, 300 years from now, they're going to be digging around those trash sites and they're going to find all kinds of stuff. But the thing that they have to do once they find these artifacts is figure out what were they for. And the problem is, is a lot of times they're broken or there's no context to where they are there. So they really have to study huge amounts of an area to get an idea of what they're doing. If they're lucky, there'll be, art, there'll be historical records they can refer to, which they will have to understand what we were doing 300 years from now. So let's go ahead and take a look down here. I have created a dig site right here and what I've done is, is I've separated it into a quadrant. So I'm going to call this quadrant A1, A2, A3, A4. And the way I made the quadrant is simple. First of all, I put a bunch of stuff inside of here. I filled it up with sand. Then I took the yarn over here, the scissors and the tape and I just stretched the yarn across horizontally, I stretched it across vertically, and I made my quadrants. And I just named them. But what I did was I took these sheets of, uh, or these bags here, and I put an A1, an A2, an A3, an A4. So whatever I dig from, I know to put whatever I take out inside of these bags, depending on which quadrant I'm doing. I'm gonna dig from A2 because if you look carefully in A2, you can kind of see things poking out. And that's often what archaeologists do to figure out where they're going to dig. They'll see things poking out and they're like, okay, we should dig over here. Now I'm going to use really, really simple tools to dig my stuff out. I'm going to use a spoon and a brush because my sand isn't all that wet. It's going to come up pretty easily, but I still just want to show you how they would do it. If you really want to see what archaeologists use, these are their tools. All of this stuff. You see lots of brushes, lots of trowels, lots of different digging devices, magnifying glasses, gloves, rulers, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a dig and see what we would do. So because I kind of see this little piece right here, I'm going to take my brush first and I'm just going to brush off and look. This is what I'm finding. I'm just very carefully moving the sand out of the way to the point where I could possibly just pick it up. And I can. Now this looks like something that's been broken. And we know what this is. We know that this is a plastic ruler, but archeologists in the future, we may not have this anymore. We may not be using plastic. We may not have the need for rulers anymore. So they might be like, what is this thing with numbers on it? That's what's cool about it. Now I also see something poking up over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Oh. And it looks like, I'm gonna brush it off, and it looks like a purple pom-pom. They might not have any idea what that's for. They may, not, they may be completely puzzled by that until they do more research. Now remember, I'm digging an A2. Now nothing else is poking out, so I'm gonna to start to, oh, look, found something else. Found me a cork. Now I'm going to move some sand aside. Oh, I found something else. Found me a marble. I'm going to keep digging around, see if I can find anything else. 
and I actually might have to move some of the sand to another place, but I might have found everything in quadrant A2. But one thing is getting down, oh, you got to get down to the bottom because look what I found. I found a penny. Okay. So what I would do next is I was take I would take my bag A2. Now none of this stuff looks particularly fragile, so I don't have to wrap it up or anything like that. Sometimes they want to wrap things up, cushion it so it's really, really safe before they take it to the lab. This is what we call field archaeology. But what I would do is I would take this, I would open it up, and I would put everything inside. And it's labeled, and if I had a field journal, which I would probably have if I was an archaeologist, but right now I just want to show you this process, I would probably write down, in A2 today I found what looks like a piece of plastic, a piece of cork, this glass thing, what looks like maybe money, things like that. So that's the process. Then they would take this, load it up, and they would take it to a lab. So that right there is the process of archaeology. Now I have more quadrants to look at and I would do that if I had some more time. But for now, digging up that stuff is quite enough. Now if you do this, if you decide to do this, here's something you can do. Just grab a bunch of stuff and throw it in. Put some sand inside it and then spin it around a few times and then make the quadrant. That way you forget where you put stuff and as you dig it up, you'll be able to be surprised by what you find or have someone else put everything in and then you dig it up or you can do it for a friend and then they dig it up. Okay? And I would love to see you do this. If you decide to become an archaeologist and do a dig site, please take some pictures, take some video and put it on our social media site. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, we have it all and we'd love to see what you've done. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube, please hit the red subscribe button. That way you will get notifications of all the stuff that we are doing and you'll be able to see more videos on science, our Tater Tot Tot Tunes, Mr. O's Oh Wow Moments, story times, all kinds of good stuff. I hope you all are doing really well today. I do hope to see you soon here at the Children's Museum Houston, and I hope you have a great day. See you all later.